Yar, boys, we've got the treasure. Now, just to get off this island. Uh, Captain, where was the water exactly? What do you mean? Oh. Oh, no! Today, let's build some sea for our pirates to sail. These tiles will be similar to most 3x3 three three tiles and have a screw in the bottom to connect to the mag board that is underneath. I have these off cuts where when glued together is just slightly lower than my grass and dungeon tiles. It's important to have it a bit lower because water is lower than land. To start off the texturing, I use aluminium foil and just roll it into strips to look like waves. Uh, eventually when I get the hang of this, I roll the waves diagonally from one corner to another corner. And that makes it really easy to line them all up. You can see here I was using little balls of foil. I ended up not using this in my final versions. And this was just a test that didn't work out. Then cover the entire tile in PVA glue. Make sure to get it everywhere in all the nooks and crannies on all of the aluminium foil. And then we're going to lay a flat sheet of aluminium foil over the top of that and around on the corners and edges as well. And here I've got a bunch made and you can see how I've made it diagonal facing waves. I then gave them all a coat of primer. All I had was red, so I used red. Uh, this will help paint and plaster stick later on. And we'll just come through and snip off all of the excess aluminium foil. You can keep this as texturing for making more or for making different things in the future. And you just mark the center and put a little screw in so that way it works on the mag board as well. Now for texturing, I use plaster of Paris and just dump a whole glob in the center. I use a really old brush to work it all in the same direction. That way we get the look of waves and then stipple on the little peaks and the caps of the wave. This is why it's important to use the aluminium foil. So the brush is able to spread the plaster evenly and it's not getting caught in all the holes of the XPS foam. This texturing process can be hard, but the more you make, the more you'll get used to how it works and the better that that will look. It's important to have a, quite a thick consistency of plaster that way that it can take the texture well and it isn't just running everywhere. And I've just got several examples here showing you how I made them. You really want the brush strokes to be in there to give it that nice wavy texture. And when they're all dry, you can really see and feel all that really nice texture. Now, because the plaster I was working with, it was very thin coats, I can easily just cut off any excess that may have dripped down the side. For painting them, I give them all a coat of a really dark blue wash. And because we're working with the plaster, it kind of works a bit like a contrast paint would, where the darkest parts are down the bottom and the lightest parts are around the top.
And here you can see how it dried with one even coat. You got the darkness down the bottom and the tips and the peaks are a bit lighter. But to even more exaggerate that, I use a very light blue and dry brush all over the top. Trying to get all of the peaks and really exaggerate all of that detail that we sculpted in ourselves. And on the edges, I give it a coat of black paint. I mix in a bit of PVA glue as well, just to make sure that the aluminium foil is sticking down. I was going to give this two coats of black, but it looks pretty fine with just one, even though it's not completely opaque. I then give all the tiles a spray over of a clear gloss, and this is the clear gloss that I'm using. And as you can see, I had some larger tiles. They were pieced together using small tiles, just stuck together with toothpicks and PVA glue. And the bigger tiles look a lot better than the small tiles, in my opinion. And after the clear gloss, I hit the very tops with a pure white dry brush to simulate the white caps of foam that waves have. This really brings it all together. Yar, I told you we wasn't lost. Now just to find the ship. As you can see, with all the waves together, looks really, really nice. You can see some points where I had to remix my paint. I'd suggest mixing a whole tub of a uh, really dark blue wash. That way you get a consistent paint job throughout it all. But even with the varying textures and different experiments that I was running, they all kind of fit together and look pretty nice together. Thanks for watching till the end. And if you like this video, like the video and subscribe for more.